Hi, I'm Rob Robillard. You're at ConcordCarpenter.com. It's a balmy 32 degrees here in Concord, Mass. And today we're going to be tearing off this porch and tearing out this walkway. The plan is, is to install a very innovative and very, very cool product uh, designed by Warmly Yours. It's basically, it's a snow melting mat. And uh, it's a heat cable. And it's designed to uh, melt the snow in the walkway and on the stairs. Warmly Yours makes snow melting and slab heating products. It's basically this product is designed for the outdoors. You can use it in driveway applications, walkways, uh, stairs or patio applications. It's very cool and it's, a, it's an electric uh, product. So this heat cable basically, it's a mat. It's a slow, snow melting mat and it consists of a polyethylene mat with a serpentine heat cable that is spaced, evenly spaced and runs in a serpentine pattern. The cable um, the cable is laid underneath the pavers in a, in a, um, in a bed of sand or, or mortar. And it's basically, you, know, you can custom make these, so it's going to run about 5 feet wide, roughly 11 feet long. It's going to come up under the stairs and it's going to cover the first tread and it's going to cover the landing. I'm going to keep it in a few inches, 3 4 inches on either side, so that when I do a railing system and I drill into it, I don't hit the cable and cause problems with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be drilling a uh, wrought iron railings or if I'm going to do some sort of a surface mount like an AZAC type of railing system. So our first step is to take this porch off. Let's get started. Okay. Okay, so we've got some, some work done since we were here last. Uh, last time we were talking about this, we demoed the porch. Since then, what we did is we dug down, we used the existing footings that were 10 inches by 48 inches down below the frost line, and we drilled into them and, and ran rebar into the house, the foundation wall of the house. We ran a grid of rebar and a, and a grid perpendicular to that, filled that all up with concrete, made a pad uh, or a, a large footing. Then uh, what we decided to do is we built a brick, um, a con I'm sorry, a concrete block landing and uh, filled that with concrete. The reason why I went with concrete block, I was originally going to use field stone, fill that up and use blue stone caps. I went with uh, the block because I was trying to figure out the transition of getting the heat cables that we're going to use down the steps to the walkway. And what I thought with concrete block is I could cut with a cutoff saw I could cut the corner of concrete block off, um, you know, about an inch off at a 45 degree angle. And these, uh, we're going to be using veneer stone. It's field stone veneer that adheres to the side like this. And what I thought is they make these corner pieces that are cut out 90 degrees that fit on the corner. By cutting this point off and using the corner piece, it basically will create a channel for my heat cable to go down. A couple things I want to mention is uh, it was really cold the past couple days while we were working here. And you had to use heated blankets uh, and obviously propane uh, diesel heaters to keep the, the concrete from freezing. The other thing we use is we used a chemical additive to uh, add to the concrete to help it cure in the cold temperatures. During the hydration process where water and Portland cement are, are mixed and, and a chemical process occurs, uh, cold weather is going to adversely affect that. So we use a uh, cold weather chemical additive as well as we introduce some heat and I built this, we built this tent over it, so we blew the heat in, and the heat kind of stays in. I ran the heat for about uh, 10 to 12 hours after we poured, um, and then I covered it with the insulated blanket overnight, and it, it's pretty solid today. So what are we going to do? Well, we've, I've got this mesh here that I've adhered to the landing and the steps with Tapcon screws. I drilled some holes through the house foundation wall and this is going to go flush here. This is going to come out to here. These holes are for the cables, for the heating cables. One of these cables is a temperature sensor that will go into the cable and be capped. And it will stay here, run into the house and run to the control panel. And it will sense the temperature of the slab and, and basically turn it on and off depending on what temperatures we have set. The second cable is our heat cable. And it's two different colors, if you've noticed. The green color is the heating element, the heating coil. The black is the, uh, it's called the cold lead. It's 20 feet long. 
and that's what runs into the house and through the you know through the uh, uh, space below to the control panel the black wire can be cut the green wire cannot it's got this cap on it and we have to take precautions not to crimp it uh, not to cross it and do a lot of different things some of the things that we want to avoid are um, when we're laying this is that we don't want it too deep so we're gonna have about an inch to an inch and a half of mortar set here so I'm gonna run this on the mesh with three inch loops and I'll show you that in a while uh, and then we'll put about an inch and a half of mortar and then we'll put our two inch, inch and a half uh, bluestone on top of it so total it'll probably be about two inches down two and a half inches down max uh, from the top step and that's what we want with the walkway it'll be about the same thing except we're going to use a sand mix to run this cable in. I'm trying to think uh, a couple of things we want to talk about are the looping I'm going to uh, fish this black wire through right now and I'm going to start looping. I'm going to use uh, uh, tie wraps to hold it down to the mesh. And I'm going to loop this way because then I can come down that corner and then loop this way and then probably come down this corner and then I'm going to start my walkway and I'm going to loop the long way. I'm going to try for three inch loops. They, uh, one of yours recommends minimum three inch loops, maximum 12 inch loops. So I'll try to do three inch loops, and if it looks like I'm running out of cable towards the end, I might make them a little bit wider, but that's going to be my goal. So let's start installing this cable and see how... Okay, we're at a good stopping point. I have all of the warmly your heating, yours heating element installed on the landing and the step, about three inches apart. That's the minimum spacing that we're allowing for. Um, I clipped the corners of the far end of the landing and the far end of the step so that I could bring the wire down and onto the step and down onto the walkway. The next step is we will veneer with the fieldstone veneer the risers and the landing and then we'll do bluestone tread stock around the perimeter of the landing. One big piece of bluestone here in the middle, one piece of bluestone tread stock on the step. The next step after that is we will prepare the walkway. We'll run the heating element through the walkway and then we'll lay bluestone on the walkway. The holes through the house here I'll seal with some silicone and maybe even some rubber flashing. It's going to be embedded in a bed of mortar but I, I still want